Hello and welcome back to another Inspiration Clan video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you why you should be grouping layers and not merging layers together to work in a non-destructive workflow. It's actually a, a super simple tip and it's quite logical um, but I'm just going to show you in principle so you can actually see why and the benefits of grouping rather than merging. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. We've got this picture of this man holding these tomatoes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a selection around this big juicy tomato in the middle. It's just going to be a rough selection just so I can show you guys in this video. So let's come around. I always like to use a pen tools for my selections. Super um, effective way to, to make your selections and you have lots of control. It's all in your control so you can select exactly what you like. So I'm just going to make selection there. And I'm just going to press Command or Control and J on my keyboard to duplicate. Now we have this tomato now on a separate layer. So I'm just going to move this tomato around. I'm just going to duplicate it a couple of times. So Command or Control and J and just plonk it in the scene. So I'm just going to zoom out. So we have quite a few tomatoes now. So place one down there. Um, so we have these layers, we have these additional tomatoes in our scene. Now at this point, you may be tempted to merge these layers so that all the tomatoes are on the same layer. So I'm just going to click them all. So to select multiple layers, you can click on the layer, hold down shift and click on a lower layer. Or you can hold down control or command and click multiple layers. So I'm just going to merge these layers. I'm just going to right click and come down to merge layers. And you're going to see now all of these tomatoes are on their own layer uh, sorry all these tomatoes are merged onto one layer so they're all together we can't now move them individually we can't transform them we can't resize them um, so it's not an effective way to work because all of these pixels now if we want to transform for example we have to transform them all together they're all on the same layer so I'm just going to undo command or control alt and z to undo multiple and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all the layers and I'm just going to group the layers by clicking on this group icon down here so if we group them together now they're all in this group so we can move them all together however if we expand this group we can then turn them off individually still we can edit them individually so if I click on one layer command or control T to transform I can make these bigger or smaller, rotate them how I want, and you can do that for each individual layer. So really, there's no real reason to group layers, um, uh, to merge layers, sorry, in your documents. If you merge a layer, you're going to actually put yourself in a bit of trouble further down the line. Um, and like many of these, these methods of non-destructive working, it doesn't matter too much when you were performing a very simple edit, maybe with five or six steps. But when you perform a very complex photo manipulation or a composition that has maybe 100 layers, 200 layers, you're going to want to have total control. You want to be able to go back to parts of your image and edit them individually. So that is where tips like this, working non-destructively, using groups instead of layers, really have their worth. So do get used to using groups and try not to merge your layers together. Thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. I shall see you in the next one.